Hi, and welcome back to Helen Potton's video blog. I'm Natalia Joffrey, the Social Security Disability Section Director. And I'm Shelley Mark, the Senior Social Security Attorney. So we're talking about cases over age 55, and we told you we're going to get into some more specific examples. Um, and Shelley, you had mentioned, uh, for example, the case for a nurse. Right. I think that's a good place for us to start. Yeah. Um, you know, as well as I do that, and, and a nurse, the position of a nurse is both physically and mentally taxing. Um, we have a lot of clients that serve, that work as nurses for decades and decades, and then something happens to them when they get in their mid fifties and they're just not able to perform that work anymore. Um, and so I, I had an example of a client that we had that mm -hmm. was 58 years old and she was a registered nurse and she worked at a local hospital for decades. And she ended up um, being diagnosed with diabetes. Okay. And she had been working and dealing with the diabetes for years, but then she developed really severe neuropathy mm. in her feet. And um, just to quick pee on that. So what is neuropathy? And it's basically when your nerve endings are damaged. And for people in diabetes, it tends to happen a lot in their hands and in their feet. Um, and it's basically that the nerve endings are damaged. So you have this. Uh, a lot of different sensations because the, the receptors of the nerves aren't working the way they should be. So you have a burning sensation. You have straight up pain. Um, you have a lot of numbness, right. things like that. Um, and there's really nothing that they can do for it. There's really not other than some medication to try to alleviate some of the pain. Um, and she, what she found was that she, was, she wasn't able to do the standing and walking anymore. Mm -hmm. I think she was very limited. She was having to take a lot of breaks. She was having to sit down. Um, other people started noticing um, that she was having these difficulties and it got to the point where she felt like the health and safety of her patients was becoming an issue because she literally couldn't get to them in a timely manner. Right. And so um, we filed a claim for disability for her and we argued that due to the neuropathy in her feet, she couldn't perform any prolonged standing or walking, right. which prevented her past work mm -hmm. and she was disabled. So just imagine, you know, if you're a nurse and all of a sudden you've got to get to a patient that's in some kind of like respiratory distress mm -hmm. and, you know, your feet feel like you're walking on hot coals. It's going to be really difficult for you to run down that that hallway to that patient. Um, if you're losing the sensation um, and have severe numbness in your hands, grabbing the patient, moving lifting. the patient, lifting them, you know, even though you have these automated beds, many times you have to like hold the patient and, right. or move them over. And it's so, so many people fall in the wide range. You know, we say nurse, but it's right. like you have, there's different variations of nurses and there's nursing assistants and there's, um, you know, there's the, hospice. There's, yes. Uh, there's so many, so many different types of positions in that range of medical that, that are all required to be up and on their feet and walking throughout the day. Yeah. So in any one of those professions, if you're having a, a problem where you're now having significant uh, limitations or disabilities with any of your limbs, mm -hmm. so in this case, we'll talk about, you know, hands and feet, yeah. then you have a very good chance of having a good case for your social security disability benefits. And you know, Natalia, too, with, with a nursing job, because the, the mental demands are so high, um, if you are over the age of 55 and you're having some mental difficulties, whether it be anxiety, depression, difficulty concentrating, or uh, memory issues, then there's also a chance that we could prove the case that way mm -hmm. and say that you you would no longer be able to perform you know the, the mental demands of the job anymore because you do run into liability there as well if you're if you're not performing the job properly. Yeah. We're going to talk about that some more in our next video blog and how Social Security evaluates the combination of disabilities. Um, in the meantime, if you have any questions, please feel free to visit our website or call our office. Thank you.